Hi, Paul with Diode Dynamics talking about our line of HD halos and strips. Now, if you're not familiar with these products, they're designed to be the brightest physically possible halos and strips on the market, and they're made right here in St. Louis, Missouri. They have a couple of other great features as well. The first one is our multifunction dimming. So no matter which color you choose, they all have a high and low brightness level for day or nighttime use and they all have some sort of turn signal or break function where they get even brighter. But one of my favorite features is the fact that we can cut them to any length we need just using a pair of side cutting snips. Let's take a look at that now. So we're gonna start by turning everything off. You definitely don't wanna do this when they're turned on. But then let's say we can cut our blue strip. So with the strips, it's pretty straightforward. We are gonna keep the side that has the wire going into it then we're just gonna trim off from the far side as much as we need to. Now the rule of thumb is we can cut up to 20% of the strip off without changing the driver power level. If we cut any more than that, we might overpower the LEDs. So this is a nine inch strip, 20%, we can cut about two inches off. Now you can cut virtually anywhere you want to. Depending on where you cut, if you land between an LED or on top of it, you might have a little bit more dead area, but these are high density LEDs in our HD lineup. So we can really cut it anywhere. You don't need to follow the marks on the back. Just take your side snips. These are great because you get a nice clean cut and simply snip it off just like that. We can try powering this up again. And we'll see sliding up all the way to that length. We can go ahead and just snip it a little bit more just to see how that looks if you didn't get quite enough. I'll just snip it again. You can see how easy that is with our uh, strips. And light that up and see that still the light goes all the way to the end. Unlike other products, which you might lose more LEDs, these are gonna light up all the way to the point where you cut it. So that's the strips. What about the halos? Well, again, we're gonna switch these off. For the halos, it's the same concept, but for these, you're gonna to wanna to determine, first of all, how much you wanna cut, and then where you want your wire to be positioned. You might have seen some halos that you can cut and you have to cut at the connection point for the wires and come up from that. That's not the case here. So if we have a design, for example, where we want the, hit, the wire to be on the ends, we can cut right there, cut some section off and have our wire coming out the side. If we want the wire coming out the bottom and we just want maybe half of a ring, we can cut it right there if we choose to instead. So again, you can cut at two points anywhere you want, but be aware of where that's gonna leave your wire. So in this case, same thing. The circumference of the halo, this is 140 millimeters, we can cut about 20%. So in this case, about 28, 30 millimeters is the most we can cut off without changing drivers. And we'll get to that in a minute. I'm just gonna cut off maybe from here to here. You know, I don't have too much of a plan going in, but again, snip just about anywhere on here. You can see how easy that is. I now have a halo with a little section missing, and you'd think that it would, wouldn't work like that, but again, no problem and even our amber uh, turn signal function on this, we can connect that up and see that it works just fine all the way around. If we need to, we can turn it off, cut off a little bit more. Now don't pick up scissors when you go to do this. You wanna use a pair of side cutters. That's the only thing that'll give you a nice clean cut. But you don't wanna file it down or anything. If you do that, you might risk bridging the electrical traces together. Just stick with the snips and that's all you need to do. Again, we power that up and see that we're still lighting it up no problem with that area missing right there. So, like I said, you can cut up to 20% off without changing the driver power level. If you need to change a driver power, no problem. We offer additional drivers on our website at a small charge so that you can cut down as much as you might need. If you have a situation where you need to go ahead and cut off almost this whole ring, you can do that, swap out the driver power level to a lower power, light it up, and you're back in business with your totally custom and unique shape in no time. If this is still a little scary to you and you wanna confirm, or if you need more information, feel free to shoot us an email or contact us at diodynamics.com. Thanks for watching.